Okay, for this short video, I'm going to give you an introduction to the two different types of uh, behavioral sampling that researchers do when they are studying animal behavior. And the first that we're going to be doing is actually called continuous focal sampling. And in this scenario, we observe one individual uh, or dyad for a specified amount of time. In our lab, we are going to be observing one meerkat named Bumble for 10 minutes. In this case, we will record all instances of the focal animal's behavior. And this is usually for several predefined pre categories. And so before you do the focal sampling, you and your partner are going to watch another video of meerkats and you're going to develop an ethogram on your own. In some cases, your animal will be out of sight, so you want to make sure to have a category um, that indicates if they're out of sight. Uh, generally, we will correct for the total amount of time observed. Um, so for our example, we are watching Bumble for 600 seconds. So if she was out of sight for 100 seconds, then all of our analyses would be corrected um, to look at the behaviors that occurred within the, the 500 second range. And um, this is true not just of focal sampling, but all behavioral sampling that relies on a human observer. If certain behaviors occur most often when they're out of sight, this might introduce some, some bias. Uh, so if animals tend to sneak off for mating events or um, if they try to eat away from the group, um, we may not see those and it may introduce bias into our data. And uh, the field lab and computer lab this week are um, interrelated and you are going to be using data that you collect for the field lab uh, in the computer lab. And when you go through this the first time, um, taking your focal data, feel free to uh, set, a, set a timer and watch the timer and every, every time you see the see Bumble engage in one of the behaviors in your ethogram, just you can write down the, the start time there and then um, as long as you have that information, then you can uh, go back and fill out the table that we have here. And so I'll talk you through an example. So we have um, the start time in minutes for the first column. And so the, the first behavior that I observed in this toy example was at 30 seconds in and the animal was eating. Um, and so in this case, the time in seconds is 30 seconds. Um, but then if we wanted to move down to the next one, they started locomoting or walking at one minute, 20 seconds. Um, and so that the time in seconds is cumulative, so that's actually 80 seconds. Um, and then we can calculate the seconds that they were engaged in the behavior. And you can do this by hand or you can do it in Excel. Um, but so for this example, they, they started eating at 30 seconds and then they started walking at 80 seconds. And so the seconds that they were engaged in the behavior that is eating was um, 50 seconds. And then you'll have your uh, column here for partner, um, and you, you'll want to put your, your name and your partner's name in there. Um, just be careful with capitalization because R is very picky about that. So make sure that all of the numbers and all of the, the words are capitalized in the same way. And then for scan sampling, in this case, you uh, will look at the behavior of a whole group of individuals or subjects. And this, again, it's, this is going to happen at specific time intervals. And for this case, the number of behaviors is generally much more restricted than for focal sampling. Um, and for the example that we're going to be used, we are, that we're going to be doing, we have an ethogram that consists of vigilant, not vigilant, or out of sight. So a much more simplistic ethogram. And uh, I guess we already talked about this. Sometimes your animals will be out of sight, and that's fine. With scan sampling in particular, this may be biased because some individuals or behaviors may be more conspicuous than others. And 
because the data collection is relying on a human observer and humans have uh, biases, you know, if we're doing a scan sample and there are a couple animals engaging in a fight, we're probably going to be more drawn to them and see them kind of quicker than other animals. And so just keeping that in mind with the scan sampling. And uh, here is uh, a screenshot of the, the data sheet for the scan data. And for this case, um, in our videos, you're going to be taking a scan every 10 seconds and you're going to count the number of individuals that are in a vigilant, not vigilant, or out of sight. And then we have three treatment groups. So you're going to look at videos in the presence of a predator, or sorry, not in the presence of a predator, in the, in the presence of an aerial predator or of a terrestrial predator. So we have three treatment groups. And then again, you're going to want to include the, your partner and yourself, then the names. Okay, have fun.